Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantel. This is my basic journey. I live and travel in a minivan with my dog Joey and we are currently in Washington State. There we're now near Rockport. Um, just this random little pull out on the side of the road. Um, it is kind of nice. There is a little river access in the back. However, there is kind of a lot of trash. There's even a mattress here. So it kind of just looks like a homeless encampment. <laughs> um, but it was a free place to stay and we only stayed here one night and now we're heading out again i am still on the search for my perfect mountain views here in washington so we're going to be heading a little bit north of here towards mount baker so we're getting ready to leave this spot now and i figured i would take you guys along with me in search of these beautiful mountains so let's get going i am so ready there's a coffee place only 10 minutes from here so i'm ready let's go You ready to go? <sighs> All right, let's get out of here. So I give this place, I don't know, a four out of 10. Just because it's on a river, it does get bonus points. And also if it was later in the season, all of these brambles that you see, the spiky little thorns sticking out into the road, those are all blackberry bushes. So, you know, in the later summer months, this would be a great place because you would have free breakfast, have a bunch of blackberries. All right, let's get out of here. Got a whole bunch of things shaking around. Onward to coffee. Java Zone. Isn't that cute? All right, you guys, into the mountains we go. So we were on the Baker Lake Road, and I happened to pass this interpretive trail, Shadow of the Sentinels, and thought we would stop. Looks like it's only a half a mile loop, so I think we're going to take it. This is so nice. If you guys can't tell, this is like my favorite thing to do. Just walk through nature, drink coffee with my best friend. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better life than this right now. Look at all these weird tree roots hanging out. Like if you ever wanted to see what the underside of a tree looks like, it's this. It's like 
crazy? It's like the whole root system right there. <laughs> Whoa! Look at how crazy big this guy is. He's over 600 years old. Just reaching for the sky. Wow, that's so crazy. He's a good boy, Joe. Are you having so much fun? I hope you had fun because we're already at the end. I feel like that went by so fast. Trusty gravel roads. Hopefully these ones aren't too bad. Oh, I spoke way too soon. Ah! you guys so that spot that we just drove by that I showed you with the car in there um, there's a spot like right above them and it's very open it's right on the main drag and you know I was gonna be okay with that for a night and then head somewhere else tomorrow but I got to talking with those guys and they were leaving today and so I just kind of hung out for a little bit and we're gonna go steal that spot because it's perfect just wait, I'm gonna show you guys, it's so amazing. So I am trying to back all the way in here because reversing out of it really sucked. But I think that we'll be able to reverse in just fine and I'll be positioned how I want to. All right, so as much effort as it took to get down here, I set up a little like chill area for me and Joe, but this whole area was shaded like 45 minutes ago. And now it's just like right in the sun. And I don't like that. <laughs> and it's a hot day today. I think it's like 82 or something. But look at that view of the mountain. As you guys can see, I have like bushes and a whole bunch of greenery surrounding the spot. So there are tons of bugs, like tons. There's no shade when it's the hottest part of the day. 
and there's tons of bugs. So we're gonna move back. continuing up I don't know I just didn't like that spot very much and the people that were in that spot were telling me that it was one of the best spots out here but I did not really like it <laughs> I want something a little bit more shaded they did tell me that there are a lot of potholes up this road and some of it's pretty steep but we're gonna try <sighs> things I do to find a good spot to sleep, eh? This road was definitely a little bit treacherous, but I did manage to find a decent spot over here. I don't have mountain views, but it's pretty nice. Made it a little cozy over here. And by cozy, I set out a place for Joey and I to sit down. <laughs> It's a little dusty up here when cars go by, but that's okay. Well, we have our dishes drying over here. Got Joey chilling over here. Got supper cooking over here. I'm going to be making this pasta dish that I learned to make from Jersey. It's really good, but I'm gonna be making it with some Brussels sprouts. Got a little bit of shallot cut up and some garlic, and then I also am gonna use up this can of corn. But yeah, she gave me the recipe for this like lemon. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's so delicious. And I'll show you guys the finished results. Look at how beautiful it is out here. can't see the mountain anymore. It's like cloudy over there. Not that you guys could really see it before in the camera, but Hey, Joe. What are you doing? Cutest boy. You can go inside. Go ahead. <laughs> he feels like he needs to be out here, but he just secretly wants to go inside. Mmm, Jersey, I want to thank you for teaching me this recipe. <laughs> it's never as good as the first time you made it for me, but I'm pretty proud. Yum. <laughs> he looks excited too, but you're not getting any. <laughs> 